Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to another video for MRCS exam. This is the question and answer session. A 63 years old man is due to undergo a splenectomy. Whose splenic structure lies most posteriorly? So it is one of the direct question and short question that the whose splenic structure lies most posteriorly. That means in the posterior part, which is structure present here, the options options are gastro splenic ligament, splenic vein, splenic artery, splenic nos, and linorenal ligament. So, we have to find out one of the options which is lies most posteriorly close to the ribs. So, let's see this here. We can see this is the spleen. Here, we can see the spleen. Here, the stomach and pancreas. We can see the from the stomach to the spleen there is a ligament this is the gastro ligament on the other hand there is kidney and spleen there is a ligament this is the lino renal ligament and we also can see the hilum of the spleen here and it receives the splenic artery and leaves splenic vein so here this is the posterior part because kidney lies most posteriorly and we can see the linoidal ligament it attaches the split with the kidney in the second picture we can see this is the vertebra so it is the most posterior part and it is the falciform ligament which is attached to the liver here we can see this is the stomach and spleen and we can see the structure attached to the split anteriorly it is the gastro splenic ligament the ligament attaches spleen with the stomach on the other hand we can see the ligament which is the linoidal ligament which attaches spleen with the kidney so here the most posterior structure attached to the spleen is the linorenal ligament and other structures such as this vessel tail of the pancreas gastro splenic ligament gastro splenic ligament and they lies anteriorly so our answer is lino renal ligament this lino renal ligament is located most posteriorly and it attaches to the spleen so our final answer is lino renal ligament thank you all